One food to build more muscle, huh? That's the video today. Well, before we start, can I take a few guesses? Why, you wanna ruin it? Well, okay, I'm thinking of ginger. Yeah, ginger. Yo, oh. you with me still? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, already did a video on ginger. Uh, I like it, but it's not the one. Well, okay, I know this one. It's cinnamon. You always tell me to eat more cinnamon. <coughs> yeah, if you sprinkle it on, Jesse. You, you don't eat it like an idiot. Oh, no wonder it's so hard to eat. How can I forget this one? It's the ultimate Jeff Cavalier meal. Whipped cream. Look, I like whipped cream, but I'm not obsessed with it. I, I, okay, maybe I do like it. Ah, I was right, was I? What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, athletenext.com. So no, Jesse wasn't right about whipped cream, although I, I guess I do like it more than I would admit. However, it does underscore a point here. The right food choices can actually have a significant benefit when it comes to not only how you look and how you perform, but just your overall health. And I've covered before the benefits of ginger and cinnamon right here on this channel because when you make the small changes, the accumulation of these small changes over time can have a big impact. And I'm not gonna say that there's one food here that can add 30 pounds of muscle to your frame because we all know that that's just bullshit. However, when you make these small correct changes, you can actually start talking about things that are gonna impact how you look. So we're talking about building muscle. And how do you do it? It's not just with the weights. This is what starts the process. It's what you do and put in your body afterwards. And there's one food here that I'm gonna share with you that I actually have before that can do a lot more for you than you thought, and it's canned pumpkin. Now before you start running away and say, oh my God, that's disgusting. If you take canned pumpkin and just mix it into some things, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to take without you even noticing that you're eating it because it really is pretty much flavorless. I mix it in my oatmeal every single morning as I've shown here before. I can mix it into yogurt, we can put it into a protein shake, or you can even put it into like say, protein waffles or pancakes. It's very easy to mix. And what I do is I just simply open up a can of this, put it into a Tupperware container like this, and I store it in the refrigerator. Now, usually I finish it before I ever have to worry about it going bad, but I've had it in my fridge for up to a week and a half and have never had it go bad. So it's very durable. The point is when you add pumpkin to whatever you're gonna eat, it helps in a very significant way to aid in recovery. There's a normal process that occurs in our body where proteins become oxidized, right? It's called protein carbonylation. Jesse, protein carbonylation. That's hard to say. So we don't want that, all right? And what that does though is it triggers a cascade of enzymes that actually degrade proteins. That's another thing we don't want. We wanna make sure that we have adequate proteins to help us to rebuild our muscle. So if we can prevent the degradation of proteins, then we can assist in faster recovery. That's what this does. And again, you don't really have to think about it or really even know the science to appreciate what it can do for you. You simply just have to eat it. Now, before you run and start buying this stuff, make sure you don't make the big mistake. And that is buying the wrong thing. This is called pumpkin pie mix. This is what Jesse likes to eat. This is full of sugar. This is essentially like eating a pumpkin pie. It does not have the same nutritional benefits that this does. You wanna make sure that when you're going to buy your canned pumpkin that you look at the label for an extra couple seconds to make sure you're getting the right one. Be prepared, they oftentimes put a piece of pumpkin pie on the cover of both. If you read, you're looking for just 100% canned pumpkin only. And before you think it's a great idea to start running out and harvesting your own pumpkins to fuel your pumpkin needs, think about this. Fresh pumpkin is actually less nutritious than canned pumpkin. Because of the condensed nature of it, canned pumpkin provides more vitamins, more minerals, and you don't have to deal with all the slimy guts either. That being said, guys, remember, when it comes to making changes in your body, you can never underestimate the value of nutrition. It's where it all starts. And I understand that we can all get ourselves to the gym to lift some weights, but it's the other 23 hours that we're not in the gym that really matters in terms of how we look. Start making the right changes. If you do that consistently, I promise you'll start to see some of the gains you never thought were possible. That being said, guys, if you're looking for a program where we break down nutritionally what you should do each and every day along with the workouts, you can head to athletex.com right now. We include our X-Factor meal plan with all of our programs. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below and also click subscribe, turn on your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.